Business is increasingly becoming very Darwinian. If you don't evolve, you're not going to survive. All of your competitors are going to engage in aggressive self-disruption, and if you're not part of it, they're going to disrupt you as a side effect. Collaboration is no longer a choice, it's a condition and it's an essential way of getting things done. Many times no matter how big of an organization you are, you still live in a little closet of a world. What the forum really allows you to do is to get just a broader spectrum of what's really happening in the world. Some different points of view that you may not be hearing from your clients, your customers, or the government officials you're talking to. The World Economic Forum is an international organization to promote public-private cooperation to shape global, regional, and industry agendas through collective and collaborative efforts. It's envisioning a future and creating a very, very clear and discrete path forward towards reaching it. I've been asked by the Forum to lead the Regional Business Council on the Middle East, and we're tackling youth unemployment. Cybersecurity, financial inclusion, safety and security. These are things that the world is wrestling with. The World Economic Forum offers a platform where we can meet with the most people, with the most influence, in the most streamlined way. I've been able to discuss various issues with government leaders, with policy makers, with bankers. The uniqueness of this is the uh, more informal style of the meeting and the communication. I continue to come here to understand how other people in the world deal with the problems that you might have thought are, are uniquely yours. The challenges that you either have at company, at country, at group, at industry level. At a time when the geopolitical situation is more fragmented and more uncertain than ever, keeping your finger on the pulse is really valuable to any business leader. It creates a different kind of conversation. The World Economic Forum has enabled myself and my colleagues to give the leaders of our countries a grassroots perspective of what's going on. And so for companies like ours that are fast-paced and growing, and at the same time have a social mission, this is a perfect place to have that dialogue uh, where world leaders are listening. It's not just Davos. What we've been able to do is to work throughout the year as a strategic partner on gender parity issues, on jobs issues. So we basically have a full-time engagement with the forum, which is where the payback comes for us. The final purpose is to create a community of global leaders combining a peer-to-peer -peer approach, which creates a trust with Toplink, a digital community. Technologies like these transformation maps, they're actually enabling us to now point our discussions and pivot them from one to the other. Non-stop learning, non-stop exploration, it's essential, it's powerful, there's nothing else like it in the world. Increasingly, I say to myself, how did I live without the World Economic Forum? And if Klaus Schwab had not invented it, somebody else would have had to do so. This is a quantum shift in the way the world is working. Organizations who choose to embrace it will fundamentally be the winning companies for the next century.